welcome to Wire India News Hour, the trust for a digitally connected India. It is absolutely true that technology will be the primary driver of investments worldwide over the next five years and more. India is now aiming to evolve into a five trillion dollar economy, and technology-driven startups are going to play a crucial role in achieving this goal. With over half a billion internet subscribers. India, one of the world's largest and fastest growing markets for digital customers, is at the cusp of a digital revolution. When we see the data points at the state level, Maharashtra has the highest penetration of active internet users at 61%, followed by Goa at 60% and Kerala at 59%. Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand and Bihar have the lowest internet population at 29%, 29% and 24% respectively. There is emphasis on digital technologies and startups cutting across sectors from agriculture and education to post offices, banking and more. The number of active internet users in India is expected to increase by 45% in the next 5 years and touch 900 million by 2025. This increase will be driven by higher adoption in rural India which has clocked a 13% growth to 299 million internet users over the past year or 31% of India's rural population a report said by 2025 there will be more internet users in rural India than in urban India given this the digital ecosystem will need to evolve to address the specific needs of this emerging demography cyber security building resilient and adaptable supply chains various forms of data protection and sovereignty related issues will emerge as big drivers for technology spend globally as digital capabilities evolve and connectivity becomes omnipresent a radical transformation of india's economy through accelerated adoption and usage of our internet is imminent internet connectivity can undoubtedly empower communities and has impacted every single home in small towns and villages across the nation steadily bringing next generation digital services such as e governance agrotech fintech telemedicine and e education It is safe to say that the vision of smart villages, modern agricultural interventions, efficient healthcare systems and quality education will soon become a reality with internet connectivity. Given this backdrop, connectivity is no longer just a means to stay in touch with your loved ones, but a conduit to boosting development and ensuring social impact. With rising internet penetration and exponential data uptake, the Indian government and telecom sector are focused on driving digitalization and accelerating technology adoption across the country. Let's wait and watch for the most hyped 5G wireless technology which is expected to enable a new kind of network that is designed to connect virtually everyone and everything together including machines, objects and devices. Let's look into today's headlines in Var India. Nirmala Sitharaman to travel to US on official visit. Union Minister of Finance and Corporate Affairs Nirmala Sitharaman will be traveling to the USA on an official visit. Sitharaman will be attending the spring meetings of the International Monetary Fund and World Bank, the G20 Finance Ministers meeting and Central Bank Governor meeting. She will be taking part in bilateral meetings with several countries including Indonesia, South Korea, Sri Lanka and South Africa. Apart from the official meetings, Sitaraman will also attend an event at the Atlantic Council, a prominent think tank based in Washington DC, and will also interact with the faculty and students at Stanford University. Government modifies FEMA rules to allow 20% FDI in LIC. The government has amended the rules of the Foreign Exchange Management Act, paving the way for up to 20% foreign direct investment in the insurance giant LIC. The government is planning to dilute its stake in LIC through the initial public offering. FEMA notification was required to initiate the provisions DPIIT issued including FDI policy changes that will allow large foreign portfolio investors to subscribe to shares of LIC. Last month, SEBI gave approval to the draft papers and the insurer is in the process of filing a request for proposal with changes. RBI pushes for UPI based cash withdrawals instead of debit card. The Reserve Bank of India's push to enable unified payments interface backed cash withdrawals from ATMs is likely to cause a severe dent in the usage of debit cards. Cash withdrawals at ATMs are the chief means of usage for a majority of debit cards issued in India, with merchant payments using debit cards starting to plateau and even seeing volumes falling on a year-on-year basis. According to a report, UPI accounts for nearly three-fourths of all transaction volumes below rupees 500. China installs mobile towers very close to Indian territory, says official. 
councillor of Chushul region, Konchok Stanzin, has claimed that China has now installed mobile towers near its side of the border. Stanzin flagged the issue and claimed that three mobile towers have been installed near China's hot spring, very close to the Indian territory. The councillor pointed out that the towers could be used to observe our territory and communicate details. He also claimed that China is doing rapid infrastructure development on its side of the border. Technology to push investments globally for many more years, says TCS's CEO. Rajesh Gopinathan, Chief Executive Officer of Tata Consultancy Services, said that technology will be the primary driver of investments worldwide over the next five years and more. He expects volatility due to geopolitical conflicts and possible decoupling of the global economy to stoke demand for specific technologies. However, Gopinathan pointed out that the ongoing Russia-Ukraine conflict has accelerated the need for dual trading systems and dual business ecosystems which will need to be kept mutually independent and technology will increasingly play a bigger role to enable such a world order. That's all for now. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to Var India News Magazine. You can download the Var India app from Google Play Store and Apple App Store for the latest news and updates. Stay tuned. Thank you. Oh, <laughs>